Bless the Lord, O oh my soul, and all that is within me. Bless his holy name. Greetings in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. As I so often say, this is the day that the Lord has made, and I will rejoice and be glad in it. Again, I'm so honored to be before you with a word that God has given to me to encourage the heart of the people. Those of you that have your Bibles, I would encourage you to turn with me to the book of Romans, Romans chapter 4, verse 17. Again, Romans chapter 4, verse 17, and I shall read. As it is written, I have made thee a father of many nations before him, whom he believed, even God, who quickeneth the dead, and calleth those things which be not as though they were. I'm going to read the latter part of verse 17 again. And calleth those things which be not as though they were. And from that scripture, I would like to use for a subject, a new life, a new life. Note Romans chapter 4, verse 17. It speaks of Abraham, who became the ancestor of many nations. This promise was made to Abraham because he had faith in God who raised the dead to life. God promised Abraham a lot of descendants. This was a promise to Abraham from God that he would inherit a lot of descendants. And when it seemed Hopeless. Abraham yet had faith in God. When he felt discouraged, Abraham yet had faith in God and became the ancestor of many nations. Abraham never became weak. Sometimes people of God when discouragement set in and disappointment, we cannot allow ourselves to settle for weakness. Note the latter part of verse 17. Calleth those things which be not as though they were. If God has said it to you personally, you can call it. If God has said it to you personally, you can call it or you can depend upon it because God cannot lie. I often say it's not in his DNA for him to lie. Remember, God's word is forever settled in heaven. In order to obtain the blessings of God, you must first have faith in God. Romans chapter 10, verse 17 says, So then, faith cometh by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. Faith is not based upon senses which yield on uncertainty, but rather on the word of God. In spite of the disappointments, downfall that has taken place 
in your life. You must have determination. You must have a determination to walk with a mind and a new attitude. You have to prophesy or speak to yourself or speak to the inner man the word of God. You, I often use the word prophesy, but I want to say to you, meaning speak to yourself, speak to the inner man, the word of God. When the enemy comes to attack as a roaring lion, tell yourself, as Paul said, I am persuaded None of these things shall move me. I am persuaded. I am determined. I am not going to allow any of these things move me. When the feeling of depression come upon you and you feel alone, and sometimes we feel alone, tell yourself, God said he will never leave you nor forsake you. When the fiery dart seemed to come at you, speak to yourself and say, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. When the heavy weight of discouragement and sometimes that do happen the heavy weight of discouragement comes to pull us down Sp again speak to yourself I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me I can do all things again with God's help who give me strength. I receive my strength from the help of God. Chapter 5, verse 17, 2 Corinthians. If anyone is in Christ, he is a new creature. Anyone that is in Christ is a new creature or set, should I say a new creation. If you are a child of God, you have been born again of imperishable seed and share in the divine nature, which is noted in John chapter 3, verse 3, and 1 Peter chapter 1, verse 23. God has brought about a spiritual transformation inside of you. God has brought again about a spiritual transformation which is in you and your identity is tied to your new birth you are no longer who you once were oh i got this repeat that you are no longer who you once were. The old has passed away. Think about it. There is a change. I am no longer who I was, but now I am a new creature. Therefore, you are called 
to live in accordance with your new identity. Regardless what we are going through, by God's grace, we can take pleasure in our weakness so that his power can be revealed. Again, we can take pleasure in our weakness so that his promise can be revealed. Then you will be able to say, along with the Apostle Paul, when I am weak, then I am strong. The definition of the word strong, meaning firm and powerful. Note the words of Paul in Philippians chapter 4, verse 13. I can do all things through Christ which strengthen me. Again, may I say, when you feel that you are in a state of discouragement, repeat these words to yourself. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. Paul confessed, I am able to do all things through him who give me strength. You know, it is so encouraging when we have the word of God to penetrate in our hearts that encourages us to be that which God will have me to be. People of God, we can't do nothing on our own. We are totally, totally dependent upon God. Note the secret of Paul's contentment. Then is the infusion of strength he gets when he can't go any further. Many times it seems that God doesn't come through. I repeat that many times. It feels as though God doesn't come through for us until we can't take any more. Then he provide at just the right time. We used to always sing, he may not come when you want him, but he's always on time. Yes, he is an on time God. Just the right time as he did for Paul through the generosity of the Philippians, as noted in verse 17. The lesson of contentment is most effectively learned during times of suffering. I will remind you we as Christians must go through suffering. I repeat, we as Christians must go through suffering. Note 2 Timothy chapter 3, verse 12, which says, Yea, and all that will live godly in Christ shall suffer persecution.
persecution. It did not say maybe, might, shall suffer persecution. But listen to the words of encouragement found in 2 Timothy chapter 2, verse 12. Encouragement. Encouragement or encourage us with these same. If we, if we suffer, we shall also reign with him. If we go through the period of suffering, we shall also reign with him. That is my desire. And I'm sure that that is the desire of all the people of God. That one day we will reign with him. And as we often sing the song years ago, soon and very soon we will see the king. But people of God, we've got to hold out, be encouraged, stand on the word of God. And if you allow God's word to be impregnated in your heart, you will be a survivor, and yes, you will realize that you too will have a new life. It's all in Him. It's all in Him. People of God, be encouraged. Be encouraged. We are are going to make it in spite of the way things seem to be keep in mind the word that was quoted earlier I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me when the enemy comes to attack us and try to overthrow us. Rem again, remember these words. No weapon, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Whatever the enemy tried to put upon us to uh, not allow us to go forward in God. Again, no weapon formed against me shall prosper. Yes, I want you to know there is a new day. A new time is coming. And I like to quote the words of Job. When Job said all that he had gone through, Job concluded these words. After I have been tried or gone through my period of suffering, I'm coming forth as gold. Whatever you are going through, I want you to know is just only a test. But if we continue to trust God, in spite of, we're going to make it. And again, I repeat the words of Job. After I have been tried or after I have been tested, I'm coming forth even as gold. God bless you. Be encouraged. Be strengthened. Be strengthened. For God is able to take you through. Shall we pray? Precious God, our Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I pray that the word that has gone forth and touch someone's heart, that they are being encouraged, that they are being strengthened through your word. Thy word, thy word, have I hid in my heart that I might not sin against you. I pray in Jesus' name, your divine blessings upon the people of God and not us uh, not allow not allow the spirit of discouragement to overthrow us for we know 
that that is the trick of the devil. And I often like to inform the people of God that the devil is not your friend. Be encouraged, trust God, look unto the hills from which cometh your help, and you will be strengthened in Jesus' name. Again, people of God, I pray that you have been encouraged, that you've been strengthened, and that you walk on by faith. Have a blessed day in Jesus' name. Speak from the depths of my